Yeah, introduce. I'm Hector de Souza, and I'm from Saligaon. I migrated to New Zealand 20 years ago, but my roots are very much over here. And tell us about and, your radio station. Yeah, so uh, some years ago, uh, when you know this uh, Richard Baptist and myself, we met in the South Island in a small place called Greymouth. We were thinking what to do. Yeah. And at that time only, there was this movie which uh, which is called uh, Nachoyam Kumpasar. Lovely Konkani movie. Beautiful. The best. Yeah. And the music was lovely. And we saw a clip of it on YouTube. Yeah. So we decided to say, why not we bring this movie to New Zealand and for the uh, Konkani diaspora. And so Richard contacted um, What's the name? Badroy and his other Frankie and all that. And we were able to get it over there in New Zealand and the people loved it so much. They wanted another show. So we had two shows. Then after some years a lot of other people had not seen it. So we brought it again. Then we were sitting again in a in a in a restaurant thinking and we said, what can we do different to keep this language alive and the culture alive and how to reach out to the Konkani diaspora in New Zealand. So we Guans don't speak so much of Konkani unlike the Mangalorians. No, no. They we have suffered a lot of language loss Very in our true. community. And even the culture, we are so kind of westernized. Westernized. It's a and double edged sword, no? Because we can fit in so well. Yeah. We don't uh, we don't and think the Mangalorians, much. I must say they speak much better Konkani than us. Of course so there are historical reasons for that, but still, yeah, there's no excuse <laughs> for us. So anyway, we did. Uh, we decided to start a radio station. I said, how can we start a radio station? So we started looking around and we found this community radio called Access Radio, which is funded by the government and they give slots to various communities. Does it cost you all? Very little. Very little. Just $50 per episode, which initially we put from our own pockets. Yeah. Now we have got a few uh, Adver sponsors. Ad sponsors. But mostly it is our It's still a labor of love. Yeah, definitely. And the main purpose of it was to keep the Konkani culture alive. Yeah. Yeah. And carry this on. is the lovely carry on, carry on, Sonia, don't worry. Yeah, which I've, I've come they run, to. They run a radio station in uh, New Zealand called Susega Donpat. Ah, uh, okay. So please, we, we, we play your music. There. You no, not not only play your music. You should you should do some interviews or whatever. Yeah, maybe we'd love could, to meet you. Someone could do it here for you. <laughs> so yeah, so we want to keep the culture alive, and one of the best and most simple ways to reach out to the community is to the radio. And this facility is it's being so easy made to create available. now, no? Yeah, and people can. It's it goes on FM for one hour. 3.45 to 4.45 on every Saturday. Yeah. And that's why we named it Susegad Donpar. Susegad means relaxed and Donpar yeah. is afternoon. And when researching the word relaxed, I found that it is not just a laid back or this, it is a person who is at peace with himself. Contentment. And the environment. Right. There's a beautiful meaning to the word Susegad. Your dad would be proud of your work because he Though based in Goa, Bombay, his full life was quite a Goa file and had his heart very deeply here. Yes, yes. And he, uh, he wrote that lovely book and... Uh, the first book on the village. Yeah. And you know what? Which has now, given rise to I am a I. secular Franciscan and I had to give a speech on the Christianization of Goa and I was looking for material. My brother Val told me, why don't you look at daddy's book? And daddy's book had one full chapter on the or two chapters on the Christianization of Goa, and I was amazed to find that the Franciscans in 1540, 1510 or 1530, they were the first religious order Christian to come to Goa to uh, Chris, to spread the word of Christianity. Alfred Alfred de Cruz was one of the co-authors, and your dad was J. Patrocino de Souza, right? And the name of the book was Saligao. The history of a picturesque Goan village. I can still uh, envisage the red cover of the book. Yeah, right, right? and it's got Mario's, Mario's uh, drawing, beautiful drawing yeah. of the uh, church, which is true, iconic. True, yeah, yeah. So, so nice to meet. First time I, 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 I've been Val's friend for many years. I've written for his uh, magazines, Express Computer, Living Computer. Okay. But I didn't know about this connection. He has, he used to, along with Father Nascimento. Yeah, do run the Saligao Serenade blog. Yes. Yes, yes I know. Yes. We were close friends. Yeah. So we had Saligao Net and he would run the Saligao Serenade yeah, blog. Yeah, yeah. 
and Father Nasim and would run it. Yes, so now I'm uh, come country. to. Uh, I've retired and I've come to Bombay. I All see. of you uh, came to Bombay, and I'm so happy for living. Long? I was there in September. Yeah. And then I uh, for one full month, and I stayed in the house where. I was born and where we were all brought up this and is, it's so this is in Santa Cruz, Santa Cruz, just opposite the Sacred Heart Church. And it's wonderful to be there, you know, in the house where we were born. It is and Charles, Christopher and Val, my brothers are staying there. They're, taking, they're being incredibly kind to me. So when I went to London Four brothers. and Amsterdam, we are totally six. We are five boys and one girl. So Charles is the eldest. Then comes Mary and my sister. Then it's me. Then Eugene, my brother, who is in Ireland, and then Christopher, who's here, and Val. So we are six. But Charles, Christopher, and Val are still staying in Mamadi Manzil. I do feel that the diaspora is a big role to play in Goa. Oh, it has, it has played, and it will continue to play. But it's up to us also to build the links and to have some equation, which is you know. And you know what? What I what I've both. learned in uh, through. Uh, Richard and Baptist, they are Mangalorians. But what we are trying to do in But all Zealand Mangalorians, almost all Mangalorians are going on region. To, uh, to promote the Konkan culture. This full belt, yeah. Goa, and not distinguish between Goans yeah, and Mangalorians and others. But they are just all from one stock in that Konkan. sense. Yeah. And that would be, a, and the Konkani language, we speak a common language. So that is the uniting factor. So we have little programs. The food is another great uh, yeah. cultural aspect of us. <laughs> Thanks a ton, Hector. Looking forward to the show. Right, 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 right. Looking forward to Sonia Sitsa's show. Thank you. Thank you.